Hey Toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome to day 8 of my 13 days of Halloween video review series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the contest I'm running, or the prizes you can win, definitely check the link in the description below this video. But today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mikey the Elf live action roleplay figure released by Playmates in 2014. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this version of Mikey, there was an episode of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that aired this year, or was it last year, where the turtles all went basically LARPing uh, to an event where they were all on costume, and Mikey chose to go as an elf. So they've actually decided to make a complete line of turtles from that episode, and we've got a Barbarian Raph out there, and a Knight Leo, and a Wizard Donnie, but this is the elf Mikey. And I really like the look of this figure, and I knew I wanted to pick him up, and I thought it'd be perfect for my Halloween review series. Let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging. As you come down the front of the box, you do have that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. You've got that familiar green and purple packaging that you've seen with the other figures from this line. You then have a blister bubble that does help see Mikey the Elf figure inside, as well as his accessories. On the right hand of the bubble, you do have the images of the turtles from the TV show. And on the left hand side of the bubble, you do have Mikey with his headdress on. And then at the bottom, you do have the figure's name. Flipping this package around now, you once again have that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo there towards the top. You then have a bio for this particular version of Michelangelo. Go ahead and pause now to read that. And as you come down to the bottom here, you do see a list of all the other figures available in this wave. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's say we get this Michelangelo out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have Mikey out of the packaging and this figure is absolutely charming. Uh, normally I break up the accessories portion and the sculpting portion of my videos, but for this Mikey figure, I really feel like we just need to look at it all together. I think it just kind of brings the whole figure together. So let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt first. As you're going to see, he does have this accessory that just pulls off and on very easily. I was expecting it to need more force than it needs. It really does just gently glide on, which is nice. And it's got some great elf ears on here and a hat with a feather sculpted. And then the Mikey head itself is looks just like he does on the animated series so we got another great head sculpt here for this mikey figure just like we got with the battle shell turtles as you come down the figure you're going to see that he does have this sort of elf tunic he's got a, a quiver strap sculpted and painted here he's got a, his regular weapon belt sculpted and painted here as you flip him around you'll see that he does have this quiver on the back that actually is removable and it just goes right back in without any sort of issue there and then he's just got these sleeves which are really nice and he's got his elbow pads and his wrist tape and everything that mikey typically has now his Finger tape isn't painted this time, but then he does have this bow accessory, and it just fits in and out of the hand very easily. This particular Mikey does not actually come with any nunchuck accessories. As we come down the rest of the figure here, we do have sort of the uh, the trim of the skirt from his tunic. We've got his knee pads here, and then we've got his foot tape there around the feet. So overall, this is just a really nice Michelangelo figure. Very glad I picked this guy up. Moving on to articulation, we can see that this Mikey figure does have a head that will rotate all the way around. He looks up that far and down that far. He's got a rotation at the shoulder as well as a hinge that allow his arm to move out from the body and up about that far. He's also got a rotation here at the elbow that spins all the way around and then a joint that allows the elbow to move back unnaturally that far and down that far. He also has a full rotation here at the wrist and he's got that same articulation on the other side. Uh, there is no sort of waist swivel or ab crunch on this figure. And then he does have a leg joint that allow his leg to move forward uh, only about that far back only about that far. You can turn the leg at the hip and bend it out from the body that far. And then there is a single jointed knee here that allows his knee to move back that far and forward that far. And there's a full rotation at the knee. So that completes the articulation for this Michelangelo figure. Really the same that we saw with the Battle Shell Turtle line. Height wise, we can see that this Michelangelo figure does tend to just about four and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here he is standing next to Battleshell Michelangelo, and he is just a bit taller. Here he is compared to the 2003 animated series Michelangelo. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mikey the Elf figure released by Playmates in 2014. And overall, this figure is an absolute blast to have. This is a really fun idea. All the turtles in this sort of LARPing line are absolutely great. Each one has their own charm. And I definitely encourage you guys to pick up this Mikey figure as well as the, his brothers that are also available in this same wave. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure you're staying on top of my Halloween videos. I am giving away a Marvel Legend and some other Disney Infinity related prizes. And if you don't know what that's all about, definitely check the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to be safe on Halloween, and we'll see you next time.